How's everybody doing? I wanted to make a quick video on cement mixers. Should you buy one? If you're watching this video, you're probably saying to yourself, do I really need one of those cement mixers? Can I do it by hand? You're also saying, okay, I got to mix up five bags. Do I need one for five bags? Eh, yes or no. And you got to think about your capabilities. I can't answer that for you, honestly. This is more for the person that's thinking they have to mix up 20 bags, but they're not completely sure. Or the 25 bags of 80 pounds, say whatever. You know, 2,000 pounds of concrete. It's enough to get a truck to come and pour it, but you're really not sure. You might say, yeah, I think I need 20 bags, but I could need 25, 26. You get the truck to come for 20 bags, right, or 22,000 pounds worth, or whatever, it ha whatever the size is, how many yards that is, whatever, it's one yard, one and a half yards, whatever. And next thing you know, you get one and a half yards and it's, you need two yards. And now you're going to the store anyway and you're buying a whole bunch of concrete while the concrete's drying and then you gotta bring it back and you gotta mix it up and it's a real pain. Well, if you are concerned about how much concrete you really need, you need the cement mixer. And I'll tell you why. Because if you're really off, like I just was, <laughs> and I wasn't really gonna make a video saying you need a cement mixer until I completely screwed up on what I was doing over here. I was pouring three footings, I bought 25 bags of concrete, or, and uh, 26 bags of concrete, and I was off by almost 50%. I was completely and totally off on my calculations. I don't know what I did wrong. I needed 46 bags, not 26 bags, 46. Now think about this. I was on the fence of picking this up from, from my friend's house. My, this is my friend Jamie's cement mixer. He used it 10 years ago to do a pizza oven. Mixed up a ton of concrete. Then he gave it to his stepfather, his stepfather used it. And I said, okay, I gotta drive an hour and a half to his house and an hour and a half back to pick it up. And I was like, ah, wishy-washy about it. <laughs> I'm, I, I, now I'm an idiot for being wishy-washy, I really am because I needed the thing, because I screwed up on the, mis on, on the calculations of the concrete. That's really the key. If you're not sure about how much concrete, if you don't really know, if you haven't done a lot of concrete, and I've done some concrete, but I've never done uh, footings like I just did, I needed this thing. Absolutely needed this thing. If I were you, okay, if you're not sure, look on Facebook Marketplace, because this is like an engine hoist. This is a tool that people use once, twice, something like that, and then they don't need it anymore. And then maybe they let their friend borrow it or this and that, but eventually it gets onto Facebook Marketplace. These things last forever. This one is 10 years. Now it's probably only been used maybe four times, right? And it's an electric motor. They last forever. They don't run them for that long, really. There's not much to this thing. It's just a start and stop button and a motor and power. And that's it, and the thing just spins around. They last a long time. Check Facebook Marketplace, look for a clean one. Look for a clean one where the paint is still bright. That's the one you want if you wanna get a cheap one. Or you buy a new one. I'll link to what I believe is this one nowadays, because remember, this is 10 years old. They don't sell this thing anymore. And there's really only, I bet you there's three companies that make them, but there's 50 brands. Everybody's just renaming the same cement mixer from China. That's, that's what's happening. I'll link to this one that looks exactly the same as this, 250 bucks. That's a, that's a relatively cheap one, but they're 300, 400, five, I saw one that was 900. You gotta just be careful and buy a cheap one. That's what I would do. If you need it for one time, just buy a cheap one. It's gonna make it through that and then you sell it. You sell it for half price and you get half your money back. You buy one for $400, you sell it for 200. It costs you $200 to mix up however many bags you need. I would have spent, if I didn't have access to this, I definitely would have spent $200 to mix up 45 bags of concrete. That is worth it to me. That's a lot of mixing because I've mixed up more than that by hand. I had nine footings I, got a, I had to pour over here on a different deck. It was brutal. It was, it was like 6,000 pounds of concrete. I did it all with a shovel in a masonry tray. It was brutal. I didn't want to do that again, but I, I thought it was only going to be 25 bags and I was wrong. So it's a good thing I had this. Couple things to watch out for on this. I'm gonna give you some tips on these things. Check the dimension of this, the height, and check your wheelbarrow height, because my wheelbarrow is too high for this. When you turn this, pull this thing out and you turn it, the lip here would hit the wheelbarrow. That's something to check out. If your wheelbarrow is too high and you don't wanna get a new one, which I don't blame you, you get a masonry tray, you cut a little door open, and all you do is just stick it underneath here and you kick it out into the hole 
if it's not a footing and you're just mixing it up, then you just mix it up. You have a rope there. You can just drag it to the spot you need it, then shovel it in. It's not as good as a wheelbarrow, I can tell you that much. I wish I had a wheelbarrow that would fit underneath here, but it is what it is. I got it done though, clearly I got it done. And, and, and the footing, it's not that bad. If you, have that, if you have this right next to the hole and you're just pushing the tray into the hole with your foot, it's not, it's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. We'll borrow it obviously better though. Next thing is, is that this can only hold 80 pounds and pretty much all of them are like that. I think the anomaly is the one you can get that can hold, say, 160 pounds. Now, this could probably hold that much, but you're, you move it like this with 160 pounds plus water, right? Mm -hmm. It's heavy, and I think it'd snap back on you, whack you in the face. You gotta be very, very careful with this thing. Never try and turn one of these while it's spinning because the cement is boom, boom. It's just, it's getting flailed around and you're gonna be like this and next thing you know, that's when it hits you in the face. You gotta be very careful about that. Next thing is this bar, it's right in the center. For stability reasons, well guess what? To pour this thing, it's gonna pour right onto the bar. You can see it, there's, there's a lot of caked up here that I still need to crack off. But check the design, see what works for you, look at the dimensions. Other than that, keep the thing clean for many reasons. One is, is that it's just gonna work better when it's clean. You don't want concrete stuck in here. And also, if you're gonna resell it, I just told you if you were gonna buy a used one, you gotta look for a clean one. Well, that's why you need to keep it clean, period. It's gonna help you out. It's gonna help you out, it really is, and you're gonna be able to get rid of it or it's pretty much gonna last forever. Does it take up a lot of room? Yeah, this thing is probably mm, almost four feet this way and probably two, it's, it's probably three and a half feet by two and a half feet. And the height is, yeah, it's, it's, got, it's got some good height to it. It's about four and a half feet. Yeah, if you have a small shed and you got your, your, your lawnmower in there and your weed whacker and stuff and your snow blower and your leaf blower, this is probably not gonna fit in there. But if you got a big garage and you got a corner somewhere, it's not that bad. But I will say this, is that there's gonna be, if you have a project that's 25, 30 bags and you buy one of these and you wanna keep it, you're probably gonna have a project somewhere along the line that's a couple of bags. Well, it's just gonna make that couple of bag job just a little easier. It may get you to do it. You might say, ah, do I really wanna go and go and you know, buy 160 pounds of concrete and do it and mix it up? I, well, it's like, you know what, I got that mixer. It's gonna be a lot easier. So maybe it'll push you to do more projects. Think about the projects you got. You know what? Yeah, I got to do 25 bags here or 30 pounds, but you know, I got four bags over here that I could probably do a project for over here and I got a project. Let me get the cement mixer and I'll hold it for a while and maybe I'll sell it three years from now. It's not going to matter. Three years from now when you buy it, as long as it's clean, you're going to be able to put it on Facebook Marketplace and get rid of it. So I guarantee it. Also, just like my friend Jamie has it, he has a trailer too. That's another thing that I've used a couple of times from him. You got a friend that, that, that needs one of these things. Hey, I got a cement mixer. Use it for your project. And they appreciate that. And then they repay the favor somehow with a tool that they have. It's, uh, it's good to have. Now, this thing was two grand. I would say, no, nah, go buy yourself best shovel on the planet. <laughs> go, buy, <laughs> go buy the greatest shovel on the planet and mix it up by hand. But it's not, it's a few hundred dollars. So I, that's my suggestion on the cement mixer. Buy it, keep it if you have the room, sell it if you don't have the room, and that's it. It's gonna help you out, it's gonna save your back. All right, everyone, thanks.